In this video, we'll learn how to make an island in a few minutes. It can have any shape you want. I chose to do a hexagon like our logo. Let's go to scenes on Blender Kit and find a scene by Stefan called Modular Lonely Island. It's a nice stylized island. Now let's change the shape of it. The entire island is generated by geometry nodes, and these have parameters pulled into the modifier. It is a heavy setup. So let's turn the modifier off and slack off instances of plants and other objects. Generally, it's better to turn off modifiers when you see Blender is struggling. Now let's reset the first few parameters. We'll put island grid resolution at 1. Island noise at 0. And island ground distortion at 0. Other parameters don't really affect stuff. If you are unsure, play a little with the parameters. Once we have a flat result, we switch to sculpt mode. We turn on layer brush and switch it to subtraction. Now try to submerge the whole island under the water surface. Then we can smooth the surface a bit more with the shift key. When the island is underwater, we switch to brushes and blender kit. Since I want a hexagon shape, I pick up a brush like that. Of course, you can also use the basic sculpt brush and draw any shape you want. Now I can draw my hexagon. I'll draw it a few times. It needs some smoothing again. I can see in render mode what it looks like. With a landscape brush, we can use different terrain textures to finish the shape. We can also break it down so it won't look too even. The whole thing is a bit too tall. Let's go to edit mode, select everything with the A key, and do a little scale on the Z axis. This is starting to look great, but I can see that the edges of the mesh island are showing below the surface. Let's do an edge extrusion in edit mode and make it bigger. We'll turn on proportional editing and move the edge down into the deep sea. Awesome! It's looking better and better. We'll just go into edit mode again and move everything down. We could be done here, but if you want to, we can improve the scene with some assets. Instead of the rocks that are in the scene, we can add some rock skins from the database. Let's type Sea Rock into the search bar and download them into the scene. Tag the downloaded assets and move them in the outliner to the Cliff Rocks collection. Do not forget to delete the original rock models that were previously in the collection. Then, turn the Water Rock instance on, and here they are. They automatically appear in the scene because the Cliff Rocks folder links to the Rocks Beach and Water collection. This is how you can change the assets in every scene and create, for example, an island full of ice cream or ponies. And that's it. You have created a cool island in a few minutes. Check out Blender Kit for more assets. 